a dazzling beacon in the desert. This giant 250 metre high tower looms over the landscape for miles around. It's the centrepiece of a massive solar plant, the focal point for thousands of mirrors spread across a vast area that can be seen from space. It's the biggest integrated concentrating solar power plant in the world. There's uh, 700 megawatts of concentrating solar thermal power generation. Known as NOR Energy, the plant uses special mirrors to concentrate the sun's rays, generating temperatures of up to 565 degrees Celsius. In doing so, salt is melted and then stored, before being used to generate electricity through a steam turbine. Crucially, and unlike conventional solar panels, the plant can store the energy for up to 15 hours, providing renewable power at night and during cloudy days. This plant that, that we're standing in could power 450,000 Australian homes 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's it's about the number of households in Brisbane, for example, in a site that's a very much smaller than Brisbane. The renewable energy industry says it's the type of thing Australia needs. This is an extraordinary example of an enormous solar project. It's a combination of different technologies and storage technologies. And I think what it does is it shows us the scale of renewable energy generation that's possible and the sort of things that, frankly, we need a lot more of these into the future if we're going to get to net zero. The challenge at the heart of the energy transition is how to fill in the blanks when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining. Advocates say solar thermal plants like this giant construction here can help solve many of those problems. Catch is, they don't come cheap. I believe this was about, uh, I think it was 3.8 billion US dollars. It's a tidy sum. It's a, it's a tidy sum, but remember, when you build a plant like this, there's no fuel costs. The Australian Renewable Energy Agency says the technology is promising. But there are caveats. It's technically difficult. It's uh, not an easy thing to build a 250 metre long tall tower and have that all working at very high temperatures. And so I think the, the industry will acknowledge that cost is an issue. An industry hoping for a bright future down under. Daniel Mercer, ABC News, Dubai.